Welcome to Electron Online, and to get a better understanding of, of uh, heat radiation or, or energy radiation, let's take a look at something called the black body radiator. And so the best way to illustrate that is to take a box, completely enclose the blocks like we have over here, paint the walls on the inside of the box black, and then make a tiny little hole, so small that no light or virtually no light will actually enter the box and there will be some radiation coming out of the box which depends upon the temperature of the walls of the inside of the box. And of course that radiation will have a specific uh, wavelength and frequency depending upon its temperature and from Wien's law we know that the temperature is equal to 0.0029 divided by the wavelength and conversely we could say that the wavelength out of, coming out of the box, so we have a certain amount of a radiation of a particular wavelength come out of the box will be equal to 0.0029 divided by the temperature in Kelvin of course and but the the misunderstanding may come from thinking that that will be an exact wavelength and therefore will give you radiation of an exact frequency of course understanding that C is equal to the frequency times the wavelength so therefore that the frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength so we take this wavelength which depends on the temperature of the inside of the box, which then will give us a corresponding frequency of the radiation. But it turns out it's not that exact. When we study the radiation coming out of a box like that, we notice that it's not a single frequency or a single wavelength that comes out, but a distribution of wavelengths. And here I have drawn a curve that represents a distribution of the wavelengths coming out of that box. And this is known as the black body radiation curve. Notice that some wavelengths are shorter and some lengths, wavelengths are, are longer than the ones I would have gotten from using this equation right here. However, the wavelength, the most predominant wavelength of the radiation does correspond to the temperature. So we can say that this wavelength right here that gives us the greatest amount of radiation coming from the box will definitely depend upon the particular temperature of the box. But you do get radiations of other types as well. So that's what we mean by the black body radiation curve, which means that when this was, of course, the wavelength of the sun, and we have the temperature of the sun that's now known to be 5,800 degrees Kelvin on the surface, we then also see that the sun produces radiation of shorter wavelengths, that includes wavelengths of ultraviolet radiation, and longer wavelengths, which includes the radiation of infrared um, but the predominant would be visible light and of course the most common visible light wavelength we get from the sun would be yellow light and that's why the sun looks yellow to us. Alright, so that gives you kind of a, an idea. I didn't want to confuse you or I didn't want, want to give you the false impression that the radiation coming from an object is just a specific frequency or a specific wavelength. So now in the next videos we are going to go ahead and calculate the amount of heat or the amount of energy radiated out by different kinds of objects in different kinds of, um, of circumstances. So let's go to the next videos and see how that's done.